So I heard you want to have Spotify installed on your Linux box. Let me show you how it's done. So as you can see here, I have Spotify running on my Linux box and it just works fine. You cannot hear the, the, the audio because I'm not capturing the music right now. I don't want to get copyright strike, even though this uh, playlist is not copyrighted, but I don't know, doesn't really matter. This it's working. I listen to the music, works fine. Let me show how, how let me show how it's done. And if, if you have not listened yet, listen to Tara Perdida, Portuguese band, it's awesome. So let's go to a, kind of a, a vanilla box, okay? So this is a Rocky 10 um, box, just to show you that uh, it's perfect, perfectly possible to do this in the, in the non-standard desktop Linux box. So it's really easy to do, let me show you. So first you're going to open your, um, your a browser, any browser. This, the browser is not mandatory. It just to get it just it just helps to get some instructions, and you're going to look for a site called FlatHub. So basically, you just go to Google FlatHub, and you just go to the first link. And this is going to use Flatpak, which I'm going to I'm not going to go into much detail about what Flatpak is, but basically Flatpak uh, it's a way to run applications in the sandbox environment. Don't worry too much. It's an awesome way to run applications in a safe environment. The applications are contained and it's really easy to install new applications, update the applications and remove the applications. So I really like Flatpak. It's a, it's a really awesome way to run applications. And I'm going to run Spotify through that. It's going to simplify our life really, really great. So you're going to hit to search and you search for Spotify. I cannot, I cannot type, I'm stupid. Spotify. And, and you have it here, okay? So don't click the blue button, just click the arrow, and you'll see here two instructions, how to install Flatpak itself, and how to run Flatpak. So let's run this. Okay, let's just copy this or, or click the button. Um, it, it's the same thing. And you don't, have, you don't have to be rude to do this. A regular user can do this. And in Rocky, or possibly other Linuxes, this can happen looking for matches, no remote references for a flat hub. Okay. If this is like something like a Fedora, Ubuntu, Mint, one of those more desktop um, Linux boxes, it should just, it, it should just work. Okay. And of course you need to install Flatpak. For that, you need to be root. I forgot about that. So just do sudo dnf install Flatpak. Get your password. You need to be root to do this. That's the thing you need to you need to do. In our case, Flatpak is already installed. If you are running this on uh, Ubuntu apt apt install, the regular stuff, or is probably already pre-installed for you. Okay. So going back to this, you get this this message saying that uh, there are no references for Flatpak. Flatpak uses uh, things called repositories like DNF and uh, similar stuff, and in some Linuxes. The repositories are not are not ready to be used. Okay, if you're using this in a Fedora, Ubuntu, like I said, that should be already installed for you, and this just, this document should just work just fine. If not, okay, just go to the Flatpak website and and check for for it for its uh, flat setup flat hub, and here you're gonna have instructions for most Linuxes. In this case, I'm going for 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 Rocky, which makes sense, or else go to the others that fleet fleet that fit your environment. So, so this is what we did. It's already done. Then you just need to run this on your box to add the Flatpak repository. Okay, just copy this or click the button. It's fine. For to do the to install Flatpak itself, we need to be root. To install uh, Flatpak applications, you don't have to be root. Okay, so just just add this. Type in the password for a user. You're good, you're good to go. Then you can and after that you can go back here and just run the install for the for the, in this case, Spotify clients. We just place this, you say yes, say yes, and it's going to install Spotify itself, and it's going to install things that Spotify needs. Okay, I'm going to sip my, my, my iced coffee now. So this is awesome. So I'm not going to go into too much details about what Flatpak is or does, but it's a sandbox environment, which means that Spotify or other applications that install through Flatpak, are going to be run in an enclosed environment so it's protected from the rest of the system okay so this is kind of the gist so in theory if things occur within the flat pack package in this case spotify uh it will be contained within the 
the sandbox environment itself. So it should protect the rest of the operating system. Just a fair warning, if you if you check this, it uh, it says unverified. So do it as your own risk. I have used it with no, no issues and other people also. So uh, so it, this is kind of uses uh, a, a, a some environment things from from Windows. I have I, I have used it. It seems fine. But fair warning, if you have any issues with this, I'm not to blame. I just show you how to get that, and I have been using it with no, no problems. If you find if you have already used this process and you have found problems using Spotify from Fatpack, let everybody know in the comments below. That will be nice. But I have used it for for quite a while now, and I have felt any issues. But fair warning, it's unverified, and it uses some legacy Windows system uh, operations. So bear that in mind. If you have found any issues that you can that you can uh, share with the, with with the community, let us know. So fair warning, there are some warnings here, but I have used it with very good results. It's done. Then you come here. We can you can see it how to, how to run it. Okay, you can just uh, do it like this. Okay, and it should it should run perfectly fine. And you just have to log in, or you can go to your main menu, look for Spotify, and it's, the shortcut should be there. So Spotify, and it should be there. So just log in, and you are good to go. Again, fair warning: it's an unverified application. By mean, by that being said, is that it's going to use some legacy Windows stuff. So some problems may occur. I have not felt the problems. If you have, let everybody know. So this is how to run Spotify on Linux. In this case, I've shown you uh, on Rock Linux because Rock Linux requires a little bit of extra setup. So if you are running this on a more desktop environment like Ubuntu, Fedora, and all good that stuff, it should be run and, and install even simpler. Like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.